Now, most of us think of Colorado as being a dry, landlocked state, but scientists have uncovered proof that there used to be a lot of water around here with the remains of prehistoric crocodiles and turtles. Paleontologists worked on removing the fossils off Muddy Pass off Highway 40 near Walden. Mountain Newsroom reporter Matt Kroschel takes us there. It is cold and windy here in North Park today, but millions of years ago, this was actually a giant swamp, and only now are researchers making discoveries in the dirt. Here we've got turtles. Each brush stroke. Croc. This is bone. Every hammer. That's bone. New discovery. If you're excavating something like this in a block, you oftentimes don't know what you have until you get it back to a lab. We're just exploring the main perimeter, and then we'll cap it with um, like a plaster Paris type substance so we can pull it out of the ground without it breaking. Working pro bono, these paleontologists are helping to fill in the puzzle that is the prehistoric world. This formation, Colmont formation, is late Paleocene to early Eocene age. So Paul Murphy and his team with Paleo Solutions working along this remote hillside outside Walden, finding turtles and a five foot long crocodile buried just below the Earth's surface. It's a really important uh, discovery in this formation and to let it sit out here and know it's sitting would, would be a shame. The original rare find on BLM land made during a routine site inspection before oil and natural gas development was allowed in the area. We did find some fragments of osteoderms, which are the bony scales of a crocodile. Those are, you know, can't be misconfused with anything else and they look just like the ones on crocodiles today. These bones will be studied to figure out what other clues about this area they can yield. We're just trying to get this isolated from the other blocks. Painstaking work, yes, but so important to understanding the past. This crew is wrapping up their dig tomorrow, but they say they'll map this location so that other students can come out here and hopefully make their own discoveries. Reporting near Walden, I'm Matt Kroschel, covering Colorado First.